there was misinformation that the money was uh, skewed towards certain areas. In fact, the concern was uh, that uh, I, uh, Bere North, Bere South did not get money like other parts. But the mistake that was made is that even projects that were beneficial to the entire county and therefore happened to have been physically located at the county headquarters, the whoever was analyzing decided those projects only benefit certain parts of the county. But when you put money in level five hospital, when you put money in a bus stop in Embu town, where Matatus from Runyenges, from Keretire, from uh, Ishiara operate from, you are therefore supporting the entire county. That same bus stop will help us collect revenue from those Matatu operators because they had refused to pay revenue because they were working in a very bad place. Now, how can you claim that project is only beneficial to one sub-county and not the other? So we also had to now break down that budget and show what was budget, uh, what was county projects that are specific to the entire county and what was ward specific or sub-county specific project. And upon my explanation, it was clear that that narrative was not true. But I did also promise that going forward, starting with the budget of June, we will now narrow down to other areas that are very key. One of the key areas that I have and that I'll be working on from the next budget is water. We have big water challenges. Most of the water service provider companies in uh, Runyanges, in Manyata, some in Bere, they are not operating well and they don't have enough water. So we have to find ways and we are developing a water master plan so that we can come up with projects that will help uh, give water to the people wherever they may be.